Hello everybody, it's Elena, and in today's video we are building this pretty fancy houseboat that I built in the world of Sulani in The Sims 4, obviously. So as far as I can remember, I don't think I've ever built a boat in The Sims before, but I mean now I have. This is the boat that I've built, yeah. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun doing it, but of course it was also pretty far out of my comfort zone to build a boat like this because I've never done it before, and I definitely tried out some techniques that I've never tried before really and at least I don't think I've really tried them to this extent so the way that I made this house look like a boat and the way that I essentially just made it float on the water instead of having like a building underneath it I guess or a foundation or something was that I first just built a room like you normally would onto water on this waterfront a lot and then on top of the room I put just like a flat piece some flooring I guess and I deleted the floor underneath it at which point I was able to lower the floor that I had built on top of it and then I built it to like an appropriate level where it would sort of like connect with the little bridge that I had made but it would be a little bit taller that way I could put a staircase and then I just like put some more flooring and I put a boat like a debug boat from the cats and dogs expansion pack and I sized it up using the tool mod to I think 2.2 three five or something something very specific i had to play around with it a few times and i definitely like resized it quite a lot of times just to like get it to exactly where i wanted to be so you wouldn't be able to see the like foundation or not the foundation but like the roof piece underneath it and nothing would be poking through and whatever but yeah i just resized it to where it fit the best i guess and then i had made my bottom and then i could just like build my house as i normally would on top of that and also i just want to say that this build has been play tested and everything like that so it's not like super weird and bucky and does not work in anything like that because it, it does work yeah i did play test it so <laughs> that's not good i guess but yeah i had a lot of fun building it and i hope you all like it as well although as you probably were able to guess the inside of this boat is not super big and it only has one bedroom but i put a double bed in it so you can fit two sims in here but not really any more than two sims because it's really not that big on the first floor we've just like got a kitchen and dining room slash like living room there's not really a proper dining area there's just like a bar table or like the bar counters and then you can sit there and eat i guess but yeah it's just like one big room and then there's like the patio with the boat deck i guess and upstairs we've got the bedroom which is like an open bedroom open to the downstairs and there's a pretty nice bathroom it's not super small but yeah that's it <laughs> it's not a super big boat and on the second floor i did also put two balconies one on each side of the boat so one on top of the deck and then one on the opposite side so i think this house is pretty cool and i did also put like a sort of balcony thing on like the part i guess that's like facing away from the front of the lot on the first floor <laughs> i don't know this house is nice in my opinion i think it's fun but i definitely struggled with it a bit just because i didn't really know what direction i wanted to take it in and i didn't really know what i wanted it to look like initially when i started building but i think it turned out pretty good in the end although i will say that it's not like my favorite build ever and i definitely feel like i don't know if i were to do a like houseboat or something like that again i would make some changes and I would do it differently but yeah this was just like my first go at it and I've just been in the mood to build something pretty summery at the moment and to me Solani is just a very summery world because this is just like a like a place that I associate with the vacations and whatnot so I just feel like when I want to build something summery I either do it in like Tartosa or you know, obviously Solani or maybe like the jungle adventure world Salvadorada or something like that because it's just so different from what I'm used to in Scandinavia so yeah yeah, that's what I normally do when I want to build something summery but yeah it is summer for me right now and it's super hot here like really really hot and my bedroom is really really hot and it's kind of unbearable and we don't have AC or anything like that because it's not super common for places in Europe to have that and also like I live in a pretty old house so yeah that's just not a thing that we have here <laughs> but yeah I don't know it's very very hot it's literally 27 degrees Celsius in here right now I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit I kind of want to google it just so i can like tell every one of you guys how horrible and really really hot it is in here let me just see 27 c to f 
wait, what is that? Oh, that's 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty hot in a room and I cannot make it like any less hot because I'm struggling with allergies, so I can't really open my door. So as you can tell, it's pretty damn hot in here. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but I did. <laughs> so you're welcome, I guess. And I don't really know why I built a houseboat for this video. I think it's just because like I've been sort of wanting to do it for a long, long time and I just have not gotten around to doing it because I have so many build ideas in my head and I have so many different things that I want to build. So it's like hard to get to all of them, you know? But since I am super busy just finishing up school and whatever right now, I just felt the need to do something a little bit smaller this time around. So I built this house and it did not really take me that long to do. It's not super cluttered on the inside because I wanted to keep it kind of like neat and tidy and whatever. So I didn't add a lot of like unnecessary objects, I suppose, but I think it's very cute and it's very just like fancy and like neat and, and whatever else, <laughs> whatever adjectives you can use on the inside to describe it. I don't really know, but it's a cute house. I like it. I really like the idea of living in a houseboat. It's just always been a thing that has fascinated me so much just because it's so like different from what I personally live in in real life because I just live in a regular land house. <laughs> so it's just very normal and I've always just been very, very fascinated by houseboats and I love looking at the ones that we have in Copenhagen. Listen, I'm so sorry if you live in one of those houseboats because I, I, I do stare inside. I do stare so much at your house and I feel like it's kind of like a little bit much. I just probably shouldn't be staring that much at somebody's house and trying to like get a peek inside and whatever, but it's just super fascinating to me. I really want to know what it looks like on the inside, you know? So I'm really sorry. I'm not trying to be a peeking Tom or something like that. I'm just very curious and I just really want to know what your house looks like and I really think that you should invite me inside or something. I don't know. Just a suggestion, I suppose. Although I have been in a houseboat once and I've actually gotten to stay in one for a few days because when my family and I, we went to Amsterdam in 2017, we were just like looking at, you know, Airbnb or just a regular hotel websites to figure out where we wanted to stay. And then we realized that if we were to get a, like a hotel room, we wouldn't have to just get one because we were like a family of four people. My brother and I were like teenagers. So the whole thing about like a whole family staying in one little, you know, tiny hotel room is not super fun when you have teenagers and whatnot. So we would have to like buy two separate hotel rooms. And then that would obviously cost quite a lot of money because we have to buy two of them. And also just getting a little apartment would also be kind of expensive. And then my mom stumbled across this advert for a houseboat on Airbnb. And she saw that it cost approximately the same as just like an apartment or two hotel rooms. So of course we decided to get the houseboat because why would you stay in just like a regular apartment or hotel rooms that you can stay in in every city across the entire world when you can live in a houseboat for a few days, right? When it's like the same price basically. I don't know. That seems like a stupid decision so obviously we rented the houseboat and it was so fun it was very very cool and i had the best time there i don't know it's just a, such a fascinating thing to me and it was really really cozy it was not like a fancy houseboat at all like it's not anything like the one that i'm building today in this video not at all <laughs> it was just like this pretty old one i don't really know how old it was because it was a boat i don't really know how to tell how old the boat is i don't really have a lot of experience with that but it definitely was not a new one but it was just so fun and so charming and i just i'm so happy that i got to have that experience and i just i loved it so much and then on top of it like because there were two floors technically i suppose like the bottom floor was where you like had the little tiny tea kitchen and the little bathroom and then also the bedrooms and then on top of that there was this like steering room i don't know what that's called but like a little room that was basically made out of glass like it had windows all the way around it and that's i guess where the wheel was i don't remember if there was a, a steering wheel i don't know but i think there might have been in the past or something but yeah that is where you entered the houseboat and that's also where the staircase was to go downstairs to the rest of the houseboat and it was really cool and that is where we sat and ate our breakfast and just like our nighttime tea or whatever and it was really cozy and overall it was just such a fun and cool experience to get to stay in this houseboat because it is so vastly different from just like my regular 
regular house and also from just staying in some, you know, run of the mill hotel room or just a little apartment in some city. Like you can do that literally everywhere around the world, but how often do you get to stay in a houseboat? That's what I'm asking, you know? So that was just really cool and I really enjoyed that. However, there's like a, there's a big but right here. So on the first day when we arrived, we like checked, well, we didn't like check in. It was like this Airbnb thing. So we just went to the guy who owned the place and said that we had arrived and then he gave us our keys and just sort of like showed us around the place and told us all of the like practical information and whatnot you know the trail right and since we had been traveling all day i was really really tired just because traveling is so exhausting but my, the rest of my family really wanted to go outside i don't know what they were gonna do i think they were just like gonna go get some food and maybe just explore some of the city but i was far too tired for that so i decided to stay home and i was just like there by myself Myself. And then they left and I just like sat in my bed and just hung out was relaxing just you know enjoying the quietness <laughs> because I'm just such a huge introvert I really just need to be alone sometimes but yeah then I was just enjoying that and then maybe like an hour after the rest of my family had left I heard some weird sounds above me like above the room that I was in which was below the deck right and then I was like so freaked out about that because I thought that was really weird like why would anybody have a reason to go onto our houseboat that was so weird so i decided to go over to the little staircase where i was able to look at like from downstairs and then up to the like glass room thing and i could see out of the door and then i saw these two strange men and i had also like heard two male voices while i was downstairs and i saw these two men and one of them was the man that like introduced us to the place and like gave us the keys i think he's the one who owned the houseboat and the other one i had never seen him before and then they like started to unlock the door and i was literally like very very close to just shutting my pants I was so scared because they were talking Dutch so I did not know what they were saying and they were like these two strange men that I had never really interacted with before like the, one of them I had never seen him before and the other one was basically also a stranger because he just gave us our keys you know so that was really really scary and I was freaking out and I took a picture of them from like where I was hiding behind the staircase because I could like see them but they could not see me due to the way that I was standing so I took a picture of them and I sent it to my parents and I started to like call them because I was just crying freaking out I was so scared because I thought these people were gonna come kill me like that was so weird what reason would they have to like enter our house as we were renting it like this man knew that we had arrived he had given us our keys he had like talked to us in person he knew we were there I was so scared so I definitely thought that I was gonna die and I don't remember what my parents told me on the phone but basically like a few minutes after they arrived they sort of just like left again i think one of them entered the glass room and like grab something and i i really don't understand what reason they had to like enter the house and unlock it and stuff like that because he obviously knew that we were there so what reason would he have to come back to our house and like enter it and whatnot my guess is that he had probably seen my family leave because he was nearby somewhere and he had seen the rest of them leave and they just and he just like thought that all of us were gone so he could just easily go into our house and grab whatever he needed but like that's still super weird and i feel like as a airbnb host you probably should not be entering your little like houseboats or whatever else you're renting out when you've got tenants staying there like that's super strange i feel like that's not super illegal <laughs> and it was very very scary i was literally just like so extremely terrified and i hated every second of that it was so terrifying <laughs> So yeah, I did not enjoy that, but then they left and everything was all fine and whatever, but it was so scary. Like, I did not understand what these men were saying. I was fully under the assumption that these people were gonna come murder me and they were talking about how they were gonna slice my throat and whatever. So <laughs> that was really scary. And then one of the other days, my brother and I were alone on the houseboat and then these two strange young men, they like entered the deck or like walked onto the deck and they started to like sit in one of the chairs that was 
on the deck and i was so freaked out about it again because i'm just a very very anxious person i don't like these sort of things you know and i told my brother about it because he was downstairs in his bedroom i think and he like went upstairs to see what was going on and then he just like saw that these people were just taking pictures and he like spoke to them and they asked him if he could take a picture of them and whatever and he just like said yeah sure whatever you know that's fine and he did not understand why i was freaking out so much but i was just petrified of what was going on like i i don't like it when people even just knock on my front door when i'm home alone or just home in general i don't like it so when people try to like unlock the door and successfully do it and walk onto my house but then i'm staying at i get really really scared i ugh. <laughs> i did not like that one bit but yeah the rest of the time i just enjoyed the whole houseboat life i just had a couple of pretty terrifying experiences obviously the first one was far more scary than these two men just taking pictures but i was still kind of scared of that whole thing <laughs> But yeah, that was very, very scary, but oh well, it's all good. <laughs> and I did not get murdered, obviously, I did not get murdered. But also, this houseboat that I've built in The Sims today is obviously not functional at all, and you cannot move it around by any means like it's just a regular house that sort of looks like a houseboat it's not actually one but in the sims 3 with the island living no that's not what it's called island paradise it's the island paradise expansion pack you were able to like get actual houseboats that you were able to build on one of these waterfront lots that are kind of similar to the ones that we have in the sims 4 and then you were able to move it around and just like sail this boat around like the entire ocean in this world of isla paradiso which which was the one that we got with that pack and it was so cool and so awesome and i loved it so much and i always played with houseboats when i played at that world but yeah that world is so messed up i don't know if you've heard about it if you don't really play the sims 3 but it was just, just like this completely bugged out world that did not work at all like you were mostly fine if you just played in it for like a week but if you played with it for more than that amount of time since the story progression would like happen and so many things would happen in the world the lag would just get so intense and it was completely unbearable back in the day i did not play with any mods at all so it wasn't too bad of an experience and i was just like used to severe amounts of lag in every world so i didn't really notice it too much but when i got older and sort of like it discovered mods i could not play in that world at all which is so sad because it's definitely one of my favorite worlds in the sims 3 so yeah that was really unfortunate <laughs> but yeah that's very cool i really like the houseboat aspects of that pack but anyway that is it for this video so i hope you all enjoyed it i hope you like this build if you enjoyed the video please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already and you enjoy my content i would really really appreciate it but you know you don't have to but yeah besides all of that i hope you're having an amazing amazing day and then i cannot wait to see you all in my next video that i will be posting in just a few days so bye everybody